right guys hope everyone's doing well today um today i want to try and have a look and address these two wrenches um there's there's some sort of banging which has been going on on the back side of this one which is not sure i can do too much about really without grinding and start smoothing everything out but the jaws are in not too bad condition i might look at filing that um so these need to be took apart cleaned especially this one um, as you can see, it's pretty grimy and mucky. Um, and obviously the writing is difficult to see. I'm hoping that's going to clean up and it's gonna, you're going to be able to see more of the writing. This one's not been bashed up, it's just rusted. Um, so I'll see what that comes out like when it's had a wire wheel. So um, these are the two remaining wrenches to finish my backhoe, one side of my backhoe wall display. So... Right, so without further ado, let's just get on with it and see if we can improve these and see if they look any better than the other two, which are already on the wall. All right, let's get on with it. Right guys, so we're back. I've given it a little clean up. Um, I've managed to get all the muck out of the thumb wheel and the muck in there. It was absolutely rock solid. I actually used a hammer to get it open. Um, now it's running free and clear. It, um, I've gone through the uh, center of it and scraped it out. Used um, one of those wire brushes on a on a drill to get you know to get the worst out. Um, this one was free and clear anyway, but I've cleaned it out anyway took the muck out of the thumb wheel, scraped the muck out of the screw. So these are red, these are clean now and ready to be um, put through the wire wheel and see how they come out. But yeah, pretty pleased with the, the at least the, the, the free and clean now ready to use. So I'm gonna put them through the wire wheel. Um, I mean, I mean two minds whether or not to put that in evaporust overnight and then put it in the wire wheel. Um, I'm tempted just to wire wheel it and see how it comes out, um, which I might do. All right, so let's like, get on with that and see how they come out at the end. Right, so we've give them a clean up. Um, they're only in the uh, sort of status of ready for restoration now. Um, they work really, really well. Um, smooth, all the mucks out. They've been waxed, so they shouldn't deteriorate any further. Um, and I think they're a little bit cleaner. I put oiled the inside and I've waxed the outside. So they should be reasonable now to put on the wall so yeah pretty pleased with that guys a bit tidier now a bit cleaner up you can still see all the pitting and the rust but i really don't want to start polishing them up i prefer the the natural look because i've got that many i can't be bothered cleaning them up <laughs> let's just face it so um yeah so let's put these on the wall and see what they look like right guys so let's put these on the wall and i've finished one set now And we'll put this one up as well. I think that looks pretty good now. I'm um, pretty pleased with that. I just, <laughs> I just like the look of them double depth. I don't know why. John's the same. He said, if you like something, you always buy two of them. So I'm pretty pleased with that, guys. I mean, the other side's looking a little bit empty. But 
but this side is looking pretty good now so I'm pleased with that uh, there's a few more yet to clean up and I might go further with them but for now they're clean they're free and they're uh, ready to go all right I hope you enjoyed that guys uh, thanks for watching really appreciate it have a lovely day bye